Hello, my name is Finton and thank you for visiting. I work in healthcare. I believe in letting nature take care of us, especially when it comes to our health. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best supplements for heart health and why you should consider taking them. Food supplements taken in addition to a healthy diet, regular exercise and stress control can have a major impact on how your body reacts to the various stages of your life. If you are overwhelmed or confused by the vast amounts of information found on the internet urging people to get heart healthier by taking supplements, then you need to listen to this video information on the best supplements for heart health and why. Taking supplements for heart disease may work for one person and may not for another. A number of studies have been done on the effectiveness, side effects and dosage of some well-known supplements such as serapeptase, natokinase, turmeric, fish oils, coenzyme Q10 and others. Results will vary. Health improvements should be expected over the longer term. So this is my list of top 10 heart health supplements. Coenzyme Q10 is a vital substance normally found in food. It's used by our cells to make energy. It's an antioxidant and protects our bodies from harmful molecules. Coenzyme Q10 is found in meat like beef, liver, kidney, as well as mackerel, peanuts, sardines and soy oil. Q10 is also known, it's known to boost energy. Some people take it if they're on statin drugs to counteract some of the known side effects, particularly a loss of energy. L-Arginine, according to Dr. Louis Ignaro, a well-known scientist who wrote the book No More Heart Disease, L-arginine is vital to clean the plaque buildup in our arteries. We get it from the foods that we eat, dairy products, fish, meat, whole grains and beans. The problem is when we age our bodies don't produce enough L-arginine. This causes problems in our arteries in the form of plaque buildup. It sticks to the arterial walls. If the plaque breaks off it could lead to a heart attack or stroke. The plaque buildup can cause problems for the normal flow of blood, putting pressure on the heart and causing damage and heart disease. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in certain oily fish and some plants. They are known to lower triglycerides. High triglycerides are linked to heart disease, coronary heart disease and stroke. Our bodies don't make these omega-3 fatty acids, so to have a healthy heart, it is necessary to take a fish oil supplement. Watch your diet and get regular exercise to keep your heart healthy. Magnesium. Research has shown that high levels of magnesium may be a sign of heart disease. Elevated magnesium levels have been linked to high blood pressure, calcification of the arteries, plaque buildup, high cholesterol and hardening of the arteries. Magnesium supplements are supplied in different forms sulfate, citrate, leuconate and hydroxide. Of course fibre in the food that we eat. However, you may not be getting enough fibre from your food source. A fibre supplement like psyllium can have the added benefit of lowering cholesterol as well as providing the extra fibre that you need. A fibre supplement could also be used to lose weight in addition to an exercise programme and a balanced diet. L-cartonine is also an amino acid. It brings the body's cells into the mitochondria where they are converted into energy. The heart muscle needs an adequate supply of energy to pump blood around the veins and arteries. A damaged heart following a heart attack will need an L-cartonine supplement to help it recover. An appropriate recommended doses of multivitamin and mineral supplements have been shown through research to be of benefit where there's a lack of proper nutrition in the diet, especially where people don't eat enough fruit and vegetables. Multivitamins and minerals may also help in preventing heart disease. They are inexpensive and they are safe to take. Apart from being something healthy to add to your food and make it tastier, garlic is a well-tolerated anti-inflammatory. It's available in supplement form and has been used to treat high blood pressure high cholesterol and the common cold. It's safe to take in recommended doses. However, it may cause problems where somebody is taking blood thinners. Potassium has been known for a long time as a blood pressure natural regulator. The recommended daily intake of potassium for adults is 3,500 to 4,700 mg. 
So believe it or not, potatoes have more potassium than bananas as much as twice. It's possible to obtain potassium in supplement form. Potassium provides a range of health benefits, including reducing high blood pressure, stroke relief, relief from kidney and heart disorders, enhancing muscle strength and balancing the nervous system. Vitamin C is often considered an essential nutrient that reduces blood pressure, reduces anxiety and stress, and improves many more health disorders. It's a very underrated nutrient and one of the safest, most effective supplements out there. Vitamin C may help to protect against cancer, cardiovascular disease, eye disease, and deficiencies in the immune system. I would like to be able to go into more detail on the best supplements for heart health, uses, side effects, and the science, but you may not have the time to listen. So if you'd like to learn more on heart health, please visit my website. Hello, my name is Finton, and